So before we move on with the other special cases for this function, uh, I just wanted to point out that I forgot the semicolon right here. And also, um, I forgot to assign our data to the new element that we created. So this data that's being passed into our function and that needs to be inserted into a new element and eventually its correct position in the linked list, which we're worrying about right here, I had forgotten to assign it to the new element and I'm just doing it right here. So this is the initialization step where we initialize the new element that we want to place and this is where we actually try to find the correct position and place it there, uh, mo modifying the linked list accordingly. So we've covered the uh, the first case where the element we want to add is at the beginning of the list, and we covered the case where the element to be added is somewhere in the middle of the list, Then we added the special condition where we wanted to add the element at the end of the list. Now, uh, there are other special cases you want to look at. For example, what happens when the, the list is empty? And what you're going to have to do here, uh, when the list is empty, the head and the tail are pointing to null. And if the, uh, the user actually called the function correctly and they wanted to add a, a new element to an empty list, then they would have to put this to null, right? Because this is the only element that you could place after it, because there's only null in the list, it's an empty list. So this is the condition that's going to handle our case right here. And uh, this works perfectly, but the only thing is that we, for, we, we don't have a modification to the tail. We modify the head appropriately, but we also have to modify the tail pointer. And to do that, we just add a condition right here. We say if not tail. So this means that the list was, uh, we started with an empty list because tail was pointing to null. So this is, this is how we detect that. We're just going to adjust that such, such that null starts to point at new element, the new element that we just added, which will be the sole element that, uh, that is in the linked list. So this is, uh, so this works perfectly and you could try, you could try other special cases like um, uh, linked list of length 1, length 2, length 2, and you'll see that they all work. And the only thing that we've forgotten is what if the element here is not to be found in a list? Well, it's just going to go through the entire code right here and then reach the end. And right here we want to return 1 indicating that we weren't able to place the new, the new element and also you want to free the memory that you've allocated to your new element up there. So you've actually allocated some memory to it and you don't want to lose it. Uh, so what you do is you just free it and then you return one and essentially the function hasn't done what it was supposed to do because the element that was passed in does not exist in the linked list. And we effectively covered all the cases that need to be covered for uh, inserting an element after a special element or a specific element in the linked list.